Yeah. Okay. Okay, so which one of you would like to be Jack? I could be Jack. You'll be Jack? Sure. Do you need to hear anything from Jack? No, I'm, I'm good. You're good. Do you need to hear anything from Jack about his girlfriend to be able to play his girlfriend? I think I'm good. I think he gave, gave me enough information. Okay, great. Okay. So, you start. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I do have one more question to you, Jack. Um, I want to know if you want us to um, focus on what you can do to transform the situation, or you want us to focus just on um, offering you some relief? Oh, well, no, like I said, I think this, is, this has been a pattern that we get into, and so I want to try and find a way out to deal okay, with it Okay, great. So what I can do. Yeah. Okay, great, wonderful. So. Oh gosh, I still haven't sublet my apartment and I really, really need to find somebody because I can't keep paying all this money. So I'm thinking what I might do is ask the person to pay less money and that way I can get it subletted sooner, which will cost me, but maybe I could just get another place to live and I'll be okay. Yeah, well, if you think about it, if you were just to let go of next month's rent, for instance, and just take 75% of what you were asking for, you'd really make that back up and three months of having someone in there. So it seems like not too big of a risk. That's, that seems to me like the most um, conservative and productive way to go forward. Yeah, you know, I, I don't really want a solution. I just really wanted to just get it off my chest. I don't really want an answer. <sighs> well, fine. Don't get, I just don't, you don't have to get mad about it. I just, I just, you know, that's not what I, I want right now. Well, you I were talking about it as though you wanted some brain, some answers. Okay, great. Let's stop here. Let's just check in with you, Jack. Does this look a little bit realistic? A little bit, yeah, it's pretty close. Is there any, any tinkering that you want to make with it to make it look more realistic? Well, I think probably we both had um, used language that maybe wasn't as, Diplomatic or something that maybe we we had used words that triggered each other. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, it's different hearing it from outside than from the inside mm -hmm. too. So I'm not sure how it would have looked from the outside. Okay. So, yeah. um, so there are two moments where something different can happen. The first moment is to be able to begin with to be aware that what she wants is to be heard. Mm -hmm rather than give her advice. And I am imagining that that's, that's, that could be kind of like a challenging thing to integrate because when you love someone and you care about them and you see what they could do that would make life easier for them, you want to just offer it to them. It's yeah. almost impossible to do anything well, else. You know, we're, uh, uh, Jack, we're Jack we're, we are playing different. it now, so I, I would okay. like you to stay in the background so that we can play it and then we'll check in with you later. Is okay. that all right? Thank you. Uh, say it again? Yeah, it's, it feels almost impossible to do anything else, especially when I don't know whether she wants to be heard or whether she wants solutions. Okay, great. So the first thing that you can do is check with her. Just to check with her, does she want a solution or does she want to be heard? Right. So that... So, I don't have to assume that every time she opens her mouth, she wants to just be heard. You don't have to assume it, but I think if you check, my guess is that probably 95% of the time, <laughs> what she wants is just to be heard. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, I think that's probably true. And uh, maybe initially she, it will be 100% of the time because uh, she's gotten so much advice that she didn't want. Um, and only after she gets heard enough times will she even notice that maybe some of the time she does want advice, but most of the time people don't want advice. Even if they ask for it, they don't want it. Isn't that annoying? Yes. <laughs> they say, I don't know what to do. It's so much easier for me to just give you the answers. <laughs> okay, so do you want to practice just asking yeah. her? All right. So, so tell the story again. All right. So yeah, so I'm trying to figure out what to do with my apartment because if I sublet it for as much as I want, maybe no one will take it because no one's taken it yet. And if I ask for less, maybe I'll lose money. I just, I don't know what to do. Um, 
would you like some solutions right now, or do you just want me to listen? No, I definitely don't want solutions right now. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I guess just listen. What was that like to do? <laughs> Strange. <laughs> Did you like it? I did like it. I mean, part of me felt like he really wanted to give me advice, so I felt yeah. kind of bad saying, no, <laughs> don't uh -huh, give me advice, because uh -huh. I know that's what you wanted. It, you know, it wasn't like, it didn't feel like it was just a totally open, like he was like, either way works yes, for me. I understand. <laughs> so he needs to do some work internally, but still compared to him just giving you advice. Oh, a million. I much prefer it. Yeah. Yeah, much prefer it. Okay. How was, uh, how was it finding out that really what she wants is to be heard? It, it was good. I knew yeah. to just mm -hmm. let go of my... Yeah. It will going. take him time to change sure. because this sounds like a very, very, very kind of like deeply ingrained way of being. Yeah. So, um, but I'm guessing that once she tells you that what she wants is to be heard, before you give the advice, it will be easier to shift gears mm -hmm. than if you give the advice and then she says, I just want to be heard, mm -hmm. then, then, then it stings. Mm -hmm. But at this point, it didn't sting, did it? No. Okay. So, do you have a sense of what you can do to give her a sense that she's being heard? Yeah, I could just connect with what it must be like to mm -hmm. be in the situation. Mm -hmm. So um, it sounds like it's kind of stressful for you to still be holding up the question about what to do. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. It's just, it's a lot of money. Did you see that breath? Mm -hmm. Did you see that breath? That's a <laughs> breath of a little bit of relief. Mm -hmm. Now, the relief in this moment is not because the situation is solved. The relief in that moment I want to check with you, but I'm pretty sure it's true. It's because you no longer feel alone yeah. in holding the problem. Yeah. And I also um, was bracing myself for advice, going, thinking, oh, gosh, I just really don't want to deal with that. And I could just go, oh, wow, okay, we're just talking about this. It just felt nice to just yeah. be in it with him. And yeah. Yeah. Was it hard to do? No, not too bad. Did, was there anything sweet about doing it? Yeah. Can you, I don't know if I can name it. Did, you know why I'm asking you if there's anything sweet? Because my guess is if you're only going to do it for her, mm. it's not going to be sustainable for you. Mm -hmm. There's got to be some reason for you to want to just listen to her. Let me try it some more and see if I can okay. get a sense of what's about Keep going then. Okay, yeah, so um, there's definitely a lot of money on the line, and I can't keep paying this big rent by myself. So it is, it's really stressful. Yeah, it sounds like maybe you want some peace of mind. Yeah, yeah, and just some help financially, you know? Just have a little bit of move, like room to move in terms of where my finances go. Right now it feels like everything's tied up in rent. And, I can't do anything else. Yeah, so you kind of want to have some freedom to yeah. just be able to live. That would be your life. Oh, it would be so nice. That'd be really nice. Yeah, it feels good to have to feel like I'm getting her. Mm -hmm. That's yes. what feels good. Yes. Yeah. So you are also having a sense of connection. Mm -hmm. It's not just that she's having a sense of connection, but you are too. Mm -hmm. That is the intrinsic value of this. There is also another value to it, which is. Um, it usually happens that when people are heard, there is more spaciousness and solutions arise. Or there might be more room after, afterwards when she's not afraid that you're going to try to force something down her throat. <laughs> she might be curious in your thoughts mm -hmm. at a later time. If it's not like this antagonistic thing of where she's talking to you and you're forcing the solution down her throat, and if she doesn't like it or she doesn't want it, then you get all angry. Mm -hmm. It's a very different dynamic. Yeah? Yeah, definitely.